Hey there, fellow history enthusiasts. It's me, Kenny, and I've been diving deep into the captivating tales of ancient China's four great beauties. Today, I want to take a moment to unravel the intriguing story of none other than Wang Zhaojun. Get ready to travel back in time and immerse yourself in the enchanting world of this remarkable figure. From her voluntary journey to the Xiongnu to her pivotal role in fostering peace, Wang Zhaojun's story is one that's bound to captivate and inspire. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's embark on this fascinating journey together. Welcome to my channel, where history comes to life. Once upon a time in ancient China, there was a remarkable woman named Wang Zhaojun. She started her journey as a palace maid during the reign of Emperor Yuan of the Western Han Dynasty. Wang Zhaojun possessed a noble character and refused to compromise her integrity by resorting to bribery. Consequently, she did not catch the emperor's attention and failed to gain his favor. However, her life took an unexpected turn when she became a key figure in the diplomatic marriage alliance between the Western Han Dynasty and the Xiongnu, a powerful nomadic tribe. During the early years of the Western Han Dynasty, the Xiongnu thrived while the central plains of China were in a state of turmoil. The newly established Western Han Dynasty was not yet strong enough to confront the formidable Xiongnu directly. Therefore, a policy of peace through marriage was adopted, allowing the people to recuperate and the nation to rebuild its strength. It wasn't until the reign of Emperor Wu that the Western Han Dynasty shifted from defense to offense, actively engaging in military campaigns against the Xiongnu. This marked a turning point in the power dynamics between the two forces. The state of war between the Western Han Dynasty and the Xiongnu continued until the reign of Emperor Yuan. In the year 38 BC, Wang Zhaojun was chosen to enter the emperor's harem as a palace maid. Legend has it that Wang Zhaojun was the most beautiful woman in the palace. There is even a popular anecdote that describes her beauty as so mesmerizing that a flock of geese flying southward once heard her music and caught sight of her riding on a horse. The geese were so captivated by her beauty that they forgot to flap their wings and fell to the ground. From that moment on, she acquired the nickname, Falls Geese or Drops Birds. However, in those days, with numerous palace maids vying for the emperor's attention, the emperor could only rely on painted portraits to make his selection. The maids would bribe the court painters in hopes of securing the emperor's favor. But Wang Zhaojun, with her noble character, refused to engage in such practices. She did not resort to bribery like the others. As a result, Emperor Yuan of Han and Wang Zhaojun were unable to meet each other. In the year 33 BC, the leader of the Xiongnu tribe paid a visit to the Han capital of Chang'an to meet the emperor. During the meeting, the Xiongnu leader proposed a marriage alliance between the Western Han dynasty and the Xiongnu, requesting a Han woman to be chosen as the Xiongnu queen. Among the Han women, Wang Zhaojun caught the eye of the Xiongnu leader with her beauty. Emperor Yuan of the Western Han Dynasty, oblivious to Wang Zhaojun's beauty until then, decided to give her as a bride to the Xiongnu leader, marking the beginning of the historic tale known as, Zhaojun departing for the frontier. Emperor Yuan discovered that some court painters had accepted bribes, which led to the inaccurate portrayal of Wang Zhaojun's appearance in the paintings. Outraged by the deception, Emperor Yuan executed the corrupt painters. It was only through this incident that Emperor Yuan truly realized the beauty of Wang Zhaojun. Wang Zhaojun's marriage to the Xiongnu leader brought about a significant change in the relationship between the Western Han Dynasty and the Xiongnu. The two nations, through this diplomatic marriage, enjoyed a period of peace and harmony for approximately 50 years. Diplomatic envoys were exchanged, and the hostilities that had plagued the two nations were temporarily put to rest. Wang Zhaojun's marriage, combined with the Western Han Dynasty's policy of marriage alliances, 
helped bring an end to the centuries-long conflict between the two tribes. During her 30-plus years living among the Xiongnu, Wang Zhaojun maintained her influence among the Xiongnu nobles. Even after her passing, her descendants continued to contribute to the peaceful relations between the Western Han Dynasty and the Xiongnu. Wang Zhaojun was hailed as a symbol of maintaining trust and fostering peace between the two powers. Her story serves as a testament to her significant contributions in maintaining a harmonious relationship between the Western Han Dynasty and the Xiongnu. Now, hold on to your hats because things might not be as they seem. Some scholars argue that this famous story, Zhao Jun departing for the frontier, might be a tad embellished, if you catch my drift. According to the Book of Han, during the reign of Emperor Yuan of the Western Han Dynasty, the court planned to establish a diplomatic marriage alliance with the Xiongnu. They decided to send five palace maids as potential brides, and one of them happened to be Wang Zhao Jun. But here's the kicker, the story is pretty darn brief and doesn't give us any juicy details. Bummer, right? Fast forward to the Book of Later Han, and boy, do we have a different story on our hands. It claims that when the emperor was selecting the candidates, Wang Zhaojun volunteered herself. You see, she felt frustrated because she believed her exceptional beauty went unnoticed in the palace. She thought she had no prospects for advancement and wanted to make a name for herself by contributing to the peace between the Han and Xiongnu. When the emperor finally laid eyes on her, he realized he had missed out on a gorgeous gem and saw the fiery spirit within Wang Zhaojun. Now, here's where the folk tales come in. Legend has it that Wang Zhaojun's portrait was intentionally made ugly by a painter named Mao Yenshou because she didn't bribe him. This scholar I mentioned earlier points out that this story originates from the miscellaneous records of the Western capital during the Jin Dynasty. It claims that Emperor Yuan, being quite the ladies' man, didn't have the time to personally select the palace maids, so he relied on painters to create their portraits. The maids, eager to win his favor, would bribe the painters, hoping to be depicted as even more stunning. However, our girl Zhao Jun chose not to engage in such shenanigans and ended up getting the short end of the stick with an unflattering portrait. Once Wang Zhao Jun voluntarily left for the frontier, the emperor regretted his choices and ordered an investigation. Lo and behold, it was revealed that the painters were involved in some foul play. In the miscellaneous records of the Western capital, it's mentioned that the leader of this mischief was our painter friend Mao Yenshou, but it doesn't explicitly state that he was the one responsible for making Wang Zhaojun look less than her best. However, the mere mention of his name got tangled up in the story, and the blame for painting our girl in an unflattering light fell on his shoulders. Let's talk about the one and only Wang Zhaojun, folks. Sure, the story of Zhao Jun departing for the frontier might have some questionable details, but let's not overlook the positive impact she had on the peace between the Han Dynasty and the Xiongnu. Wang Zhao Jun's historical achievements go beyond her voluntary journey to the Xiongnu. It was what she did after arriving there that truly made a difference. Thanks to her efforts, the Han Dynasty and the Xiongnu enjoyed years of peaceful coexistence. I mean, come on, folks, that's a big deal. The cessation of war and the harmonious relationship between these two powers were undoubtedly in the best interest of both the Han Dynasty and the Xiongnu people. So let's give credit where credit is due, my friends. Regardless of the embellishments in the story, Wang Zhaojun played a vital role in promoting peace and stability during a tumultuous time. Well, folks, that wraps up our video on the incredible Wang Zhaojun. I hope you enjoyed diving into her fascinating story as much as I did. Before we part ways, I just want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you. Your support means the world to me. So, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Your subscriptions and likes are like fuel to my creative fire, motivating me to keep producing more engaging content for you. And hey, I'm all ears. What other topics related to Chinese history, culture, 
or ancient artifacts would you like to hear me ramble about? Drop a comment and let me know, I might just make your request a reality. Thank you all once again for joining me on this historical adventure. Stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, my friends.